Monte Carlo update. 20th of September, I think it is. Okay, spent the weekend doing a few odds and ends. Um, the biggest thing I did was I was able to get the rear stabilizer bar installed. When doing this, I realized that the bushings on those lower control arms are shot, so I'll be ordering a new set of those and putting them in this winter. But I got a good look underneath the car and everything looks pretty good. I think there's a tiny bit of a gas leak up there, but I'll figure that out later. If anything, it's because I think one of the gaskets on top might be leaking. I think the tank's relatively new. But I'll find out for sure when I get it out. Um, let's see. Started poking around with the wiring under the dash. This is what I ended up removing. I think it's all an old Crutchfield radio install that somebody had removed the radio portion at some point. And they put the old original radio back in the car, but didn't do a very good job of it. When they did it, they busted out these little bezels here that are supposed to hold the radio in. And he managed to destroy the connector that was supposed to go here. So I just separated these and tied them up. But one of them's, the yellow one's hot, the gray one goes to the light inside the radio, and the black one's a ground. And then there's two others that go up to the speakers. I did pull the old radio out and was able to hook it up to power into the speakers up under the dash to see if it would work and it doesn't do anything so I think I'm going to have to can that and get something else um, I was really hoping I could get that to work because I think that would be pretty cool having that old radio in there but not giving up yet we'll give it a shot later and that's what's left of the harness that the guy had torn apart um, when he put in the other system this is the one that's supposed to plug into the back of the radio. As you can see, he ripped uh, the ground out and cut the other one way too short. That green wire there, it's all stubby. That's the one that's supposed to go up to the speakers. And this is a pigtail that comes off of that that plugs in to another connector. And then this is the one that goes to the power where I showed you where he had cut the other side of this connector off. So, um, I'm getting there. It's gonna take a few, but, uh, gonna have to order a few more things. You know, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and order this whole um, pearl wood fake bezel here because these being busted out, Plus, there's a whole bunch of extra screws in here that don't really belong. I've got a new dash pad anyway, because obviously you can't fix that. And uh, I think I'm going to have to take a look and see what it's going to cost. But you see all these holes somebody drilled up under here to mount stuff. I'm not sure what. Maybe they had CD in here at one time or... I don't know, all kinds of junk. So that's where that tachometer was. I put that in the trash can. It was a piece of crap, and this car doesn't need a tack. If it does get a tack, there's a company that makes one that goes in where that clock is going to, uh, where the clock is. Obviously, the clock doesn't work, so I don't think there's much point in messing with that anyway. Um, yeah, all this is going to be coming off in a couple of weeks anyway when I put the new air conditioning system in. So I'm not uh, too brokenhearted about it. I was able to discover, and I already had a pretty good hint, that this interior was originally 
probably a sandalwood color. And you can see the carpet, you know, it's kind of got a coppery color to it, so I think it was dyed black, and then all this interior was replaced with black. But I'm going to keep the door panels, they look fine. Obviously, I'm going to trash this seat when the buckets come in. I'll be replacing the headliner, too. I've got that down in the basement. It's got some holes in it. It's not horrible, but it should really be uh, replaced. But, yeah, so anyway, at least I'm getting a better idea of what this thing needs. It doesn't look too, like too much. Um, obviously, this quarter panel needs to be replaced. It's all bondoed, and um, there's a sheet metal patch riveted back there, probably where it was rusted out. This one's not as bad, but I may go ahead and do that one too. Don't know yet. Have to figure that out. But anyway, it's starting to come together or come apart. One of the two. But uh, yeah, I'll update again in a couple of days. Bye-bye.